Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, welcome to another day of Trick or Treat Horror Fest. I'm your host, DJ Surreal with Descent Sundays. Today we're going to talk about an extremely controversial movie, and it's called A Serbian Film. Uh, some of you may have heard of it, and others may not, but let's start off with that trailer. <laughs> Um, this movie is extremely controversial. Um, it's actually been banned in a couple of countries. Um, and uh, I read that um, it was originally released at a horror movie festival in the States and like half the theater, more half the theater or more walked out um, on this movie. It does have an NC-17 rating. Um, which is, as far as I know, the highest and harshest rating that any horror movie can get. And let me tell you, it is not unwarranted. Um, this movie is incredibly brutal. It was actually, it is uh, made, it was made in Serbia. I believe some of their filming restrictions are a little bit different than ours. So they were able to do a little bit more things that were kind of, kind of extreme. Um, one thing I will say the production on this movie is extremely high. The cinematography was amazing. They have lots of really great cuts. Um, the storytelling and how the story was told was really great. You know, you kind of have your setup where um, you find, you know, aging porn star. Yes, his wife knows, you know, and, and they're working on his exit strategy for getting out of the industry. And, you know, his one of his former co-stars says, hey, I'm doing films with this this private director. He only shoots for for people who specifically like buy the film. So it's like one rich guy hiring them to perform in the film that he owns into a private collection, and they pay top dollar. So he says, "Yeah, sure," and goes and checks it out. And um, what ultimately ends up happening is they won't release what the actual uh, script for the porno is because the director's like, oh, my client wants everything to be very genuine and he, you know, wants only wants genuine reactions, so we just film it in, in, in order. And, uh, you know, ultimately says, no, I'm not going to sign a contract for, you know, what I don't know. And ultimately they end up drugging him. And so this is, it brings, you up, brings you up to about halfway through the movie and he wakes up in a room sort of, some random location covered in blood and has no recollection of what's happened and the rest of the movie is sort of his journey to discover what had happened the night before when he was when he was drugged and I like that sort of storytelling because it allows the audience to really bond with the main character in terms of his horror as he discovers uh, some of the things that he was manipulated into doing and the movie pulls out all stops like there isn't really anything that they overlook they if I don't know <laughs> it's brutal um, I love horror movies I love gore I love intensity and intense storylines and intense moments in movies and I found this movie really difficult to sit through. Uh, I actually almost turned it off and I eventually hit a point where I was like, okay, 
that's it. I'm just gonna emotionally remove myself from what I'm seeing and I'm more like I, I was just over the, you know, I think I was like three quarters of the way through the movie and I was like, I'm never gonna watch this again. I just need to push through and do it. I just need to fucking finish this movie. And so I just sort of, you know, emotionally removed myself from the content, reminded myself it was just a movie, started picking out, you know, oh, little, little movie filming tricks to sort of help me get through it. And um, it was still really difficult to, si it was difficult to sit through. And there's honestly some stuff that they filmed that I'm not really sure how they got away with making that look so real. Um, yeah, it was, it was uncomfortable. Um, I was watching it with a friend at the time and who had agreed to watch it with me. And um, <laughs> it was funny because we get to the end of the movie and he turns to me, he looks at me, he goes, you know, that kind of ruined porn and horror movies for a while. <laughs> and I said, yeah. <laughs> um, I think the worst part of that movie too, for me, was the very end because they kind of do a false end where they they end the movie and they start rolling the credits and then they come back for a cutaway scene where they just give you that last little little bit and for me it was that last it was like a 10 second scene and it just I was like I think it was because I was like oh it's over I could take a deep breath though it's over and I started to relax and then they came back and hit me with that last little, last little traumatizing cutaway. And I was like, awesome. So yeah, so uh, I can tell you don't watch this movie and some of you will listen. I've also had this conversation with a few people who are, I'm like, don't watch this movie and they're like, I can't wait to go home and watch this movie. If you're one of those morbid curiosity people, believe me when I say I was too. I don't ever need to see that movie again. Once was enough. Um, that being said, this movie was a definite treat. It, uh, it, provokes a lot of emotion, um, provokes a lot of negative emotion and disgust and horror and feeling awful and um, I would not recommend it but it is amazingly well done and yeah that's pretty much all I could really say for oh no one more thing one more thing one thing that one thought that crossed my mind about that movie after I first watched it is I almost felt like it was not so much a horror movie but a movie made by someone who wanted to make a really really depraved porno but knew the backlash of calling it a porno so they called it a horror movie and it almost like it it almost feels like that <laughs> like a lot um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty much all I can say about a Serbian film. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow for another horror movie review.